705 and channel 957 Connie and Curtis Monday morning a snowy Monday today is going to be Woo-hoo-hoo. snow today snow tonight snow tomorrow yeah like a lot of snow right <laughs> like a lot <laughs> like, and blowing and drifting so we're supposed to have like a storm like a storm okay, we're getting like a and storm. then like lake effect at the same time All mixed together totally Totally. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Hey, I got a, a question for you. Okay. Uh, on Thursday, remember I'm drinking that syrup on Thursday? Yes. Uh, you sign up at mychannel957.com and you guess how much I'm going to drink and then mm. you can win elf tickets in an Amway uh, mm. stay from Broadway Grand Rapids. Yeah. Do you think I'm going to get sick? Yes. Guaranteed. Like, you, if you like eat... throw up sick or diarrhea sick? Probably uh. diarrhea. Maybe I both. Think, I don't think you'll throw up. Same okay. time? Would that be the slowest throw up ever? <laughs> yeah. And it would smell like syrup, and you'd never be able to eat pancakes again. Yeah. None of us. Like one time when I was- Yeah, in, none of us. Way to ruin it for all of us, <laughs> by in, the way. When I was in second grade, a kid threw up eggs. I remember that. And I don't think I touched an egg for like five or six years without mm, thinking of that. Really? <sighs> it's going to happen again. I'll try to take the pictures from over here. Through the window. No. Nope. Yeah. No. Oh. It's video. You're going to be all up in my grill. You're going to get oh, this great. going. I'm going to ruin the camera. So if you go to mychannel957.com, you can uh, make a guess as to how much syrup you think Curtis is going to be yeah. chugging. He's got, what, 95 seconds to do it? Yeah. So there's uh, 64 ounces of syrup, Ugh. and you're voting either a quarter of it, 16 ounces, 32, uh, 40 or whatever, and then uh, 64. Yes, I think you're going to be sick. Anytime you eat something in the morning yeah. that is out of the ordinary, yeah. <laughs> like usually Curtis eats oatmeal every day, yeah, but if oat- somebody brings in breakfast or something, he doesn't have that thing where he stops eating when he's full. He just continues to do it. Right. And then for, how, depending on what time they get here, for the rest of the show, I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm right. sick. Oh, I'm sick. I'm sick. Hey, <laughs> have I told you that I'm sick? I'm so sick. Maybe I'll bring Tums. <laughs> Will that help? Probably more like Pepto. Pepto and Tums are the same thing, aren't they? You just chew I the Tums. I don't know. You have to bring a lot of Tums. Yeah. I don't know. Every time I've ever taken Pepto Bismol, yeah, makes me puke. Oh, because you're sick already. Every time I've ever taken it. How many? Ooh! How many times? Probably five. Five times. When's mm-hmm. the last time? Well, I finally stopped doing it because Good. I don't yeah, like to throw yeah, up. You learn. I mean, <laughs> monkeys can learn. You would think Connie could learn. I remember my mom giving it to me as a kid, and yeah, it just made me more sick. Okay. I just remember that it smelled Yuck. so good. Pepto? Yeah, like pink. Delicious. It smelled pink? Yeah, it smells pink. And you're like, oh, I would eat that. So oh. Thursday at 830, am I going to get sick? Steve's on the phone. Steve, what's up? Hey, Curtis. Yeah, man. You chicken like Aunt Jemima syrup? Uh, Mrs. Butterworth. Mrs. Butterworth? Yeah. Man, you should do some like real maple syrup. I think it'd, it'd fare better. Yeah, I, you know what? I was going to until I was at the store, and the Mrs. Butterworth uh, gallon or whatever size I bought mm-hmm. was like uh, $8, and the real stuff is like $25. Oh. Okay, you're drinking a gallon? Uh, well, well he's g- drinking as much as he can. Right, in 95 seconds. So, yeah. So nice. We, yeah. Nice. <laughs> How much do you think 25 gonna, bucks? Uh, yeah, for, you, for a little, for a quart. So I would have needed wow. two, so that would have been 50 bucks. Right. Yeah, that's did crazy. Did you buy a plunger with that? I did, I did <laughs> not. No, uh, according, according to my body and how it reacts to stuff like this, I'm not going to need a plunger for a couple days. <laughs> he needs the anti-plunger. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to need a modium. <laughs> <laughs> a plunger won't be my problem. Why are you telling us this? I don't know, and I you shouldn't have. You are so disgusting. I shouldn't have. I, uh, I blame him for calling. You blame Steve? Hey, yeah, hey, Steve. I'm glad I glad I could do it for you, bro. Thank you, Steve. Steve's you have a great day. Good luck. <laughs> Bye, baby. Yeah. And that is, he's right, because if I had pure maple syrup, right. I wouldn't get sick, because that just comes out of trees. That's easy. Mm-hmm. Coming out of trees is awesome. And I love pure maple syrup. Mm-hmm. Like, that's what I put on my pancakes is that stuff because it just tastes better, I think. Kids don't think it does. They're like, this tastes weird. But yeah. it, because it's not sugar. Right. So I don't think there's even any maple or syrup in Mrs. Butterworth. It's sugar and syrup and who knows? You're super, like, excited about it, right? I am. You get me pumped. Steve calls, and I start getting excited about this syrup. You're I can't wait to really drink it. really excited about it. And we had waffles this weekend, and you I did? was eating syrup. Oh. And I was like, yeah, I love syrup a lot. Are you going to bring in some pancakes on Thursday? No, I just wanted to have a uh, blank slate, just a clear canvas. 
You don't think you want pancakes and syrup after after, syrup. after you drink a half a gallon of syrup? And maybe I will. And if that's the case, we can just walk downtown, like Sundance or something. Hmm. I would eat with you. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping you would say that. I needed to wheel me, wheel me over there. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll be great. Yeah. So who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Eight thirty on uh, on Thursday. So I, go, make sure you go to our website, mychannel957.com. You're not going to stop that. Well, I could. We could all die. That's true. How do you die? Drinking syrup? Lucky. That's where that's that's the exchange. That's Is the, that lucky? I, th- I think so. I don't think it's lucky. Oh, it's doing what he loved. You're still dying though. <laughs> Eating syrup. You're still dying. Yeah, but I wouldn't know. It's like when I read about Matthew McConaughey's parents and his father's dying, and they were okay. What? Being intimate with each other. He and his father? No, his parents. Oh, okay. (laughs) Son, I'm dying. Let's go in the bedroom. No, No, Dad. No, his parents. Oh, he died. His dad. Doing it to his mom. Yes. Okay. And that's what they were saying. Like, well, he, he died doing what he loved. Right. I'm like, yeah, but you still died. And poor mom. Oh, yeah. It's, it's horrible for the mom. She's, I mean, that's the end of her, too. Seriously. 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 She's like, is that it? <laughs> right? Don't you think that's her first question? It's just, it's sad. Is that it? How traumatizing would Keep that be? Keep going. <laughs> What's wrong with, what, are you asleep? <laughs> Oh, great is this. Traumatizing. And Imagine how traumatizing. Dead. I mean, good for one of you, but not really good because no. you're like 50 and now you're dead. Exactly. I mean, how you went, you're still dead. Right, but you don't know you're dead. That's the thing. Or do you? And then you're a ghost and you're right there like Pat Swayze. You know, like, ditto. Yeah. Ditto. <laughs> Spoiler. I mean, he doesn't say I love you. <laughs> he never does. Uh, but he means it. He does love her. Hi, April. Hi. April, what's Hi. up? I have a question about the drinking the syrup. Okay. Yeah. yeah, let's talk. Um, is there some kind of world record for the most oh. syrup someone has ever drank before? Because, I mean, you could try the 64 ounces, but you may be able to beat a world record. That's a good point. That is a great I point. I mean, if you're doing it anyway. Might as well go for a record. Yeah. Uh, right. We, we can look it up. Um then you got to get like the the people from Guinness in here. Yeah, you I don't do. know that we'd be able to make it happen fast enough because it's happening on Thursday. Uh-huh. Okay, to... I just thought it was a pretty cool idea, and I just wondered why you might want to do something like that. Just yeah, you're right. I mean, That's a really good idea. Sick. If, <laughs> if I'm going to drink a lot, and no one two knows, birds one stone. No one knows that I'm going to get sick. We're just speculating, right? I mean, oh, maybe right. I won't. Well, that's probably guaranteed. You're going to probably. Yeah. Crap yourself. Yeah. You're going to crap yourself. <laughs> that's what a, that's what a lot of people. Your mouth idea, to God's right? ears. I hope that happens. What, what kind of timeline am I looking at? And I hope it help happens in the studio. <laughs> what oh, no. I mean, oh. like at nine fifty five. No. What if it happens right away? Like I'm goo 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 goo, and I'm like, hey, I just. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that would be. That would be terrible. Uh, I love you guys' show. I have to go, but thanks, oh, April. Awesome. Call. Thanks, you, April. <laughs> Can you imagine one week I'm Just naked kidding. on the internet, <laughs> next week I'm pooping my pants in a YouTube video? <laughs> I would be, I, I mean, what the heck? That would be awesome. Pretty much the best month ever. What? <laughs> And then the I'm best month. Then ever. I'm sitting at my in-laws at Thanksgiving. Just people Ugh. are averting their eyes for me because they've both seen both videos. They've seen the best month ever. They've seen the uh, the bare butt, and now they've seen me crap myself. How many people talked to you about your bare butt this weekend? Over the weekend, uh, quite a few. Because quite every few. person that I met over the weekend <laughs> talked to me about your butt. <laughs> what they every think? single one. What do they think? They think that you are fun. Okay, and, and I, I am told fun. them that you are. Yeah, yeah. fun, not fit. I think it's what, <laughs> what you get from looking at that picture. That would be that could be the caption. Uh, <laughs> Fun, uh, not fit. Wake up. Seven twenty six on channel ninety five. Yeah, I am. You're a genius. <laughs> 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 right? <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what you want to say to that type of person. People do. It's. 7.26 on channel 95, seven, by the oh, way, yeah. 28 degrees. People do ask dumb questions a lot, don't it, they? It is like... Uh, and Super I, funny, though. I know, laugh. I know that you probably don't follow the uh, comedic stylings of Bill Engvall. I don't, but I know who he is. So Bill Engvall uh, does a whole 
line of jokes about stupid questions that people right. ask, yeah. and the the punchline is, "Here's your sign." And it is exactly like that. He said he was uh, uh, pumping gas at a gas station. He had uh, all the, the luggage rack was filled with luggage, and the car was jam-packed, his whole family in there. <laughs> and someone pumping gas next to him says, going on a trip? <laughs> <laughs> and he said, nope, just wanted to see if we could take all of our belongings, jam them into the minivan, put them up on the roof, and drive around town for a little while. <laughs> Here's your sign. It's exactly that type uh, of thing. I mean, he, it's so funny to me. He, he's hilarious. He, and he has a million of them. And, yeah, it, and it's true. Yes. <laughs> Going but I choose trip. to find the funny in it. Like I choose not to be annoyed by it. Like that is the dumbest question on the face right. of the earth. I think it's funny. Okay, don't uh, you? There are sometimes though, <laughs> where if you're like rushed, you know, you're you're busy and uh, like uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's funny. I don't know. You buy, uh, you're at the store and you're buying like three cases of beer, and uh, the clerk says, Having a party? And you're like, <laughs> No, what I'm planning on doing is just drinking all this beer. Uh. Hopefully, by the time I get to the car, I'll have two or three down already. <laughs> Got a big day planned. Yeah, of course I'm having a party. No, I'm buying three cases of beer here. Uh. You know? Uh huh. You buy a bunch of steaks, grilling out. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> Trying to find a lion that may live in my neighborhood. Going to set this in all the trees, see if we can get him to come out. <laughs> see if we can make this happen. And trying to find a lion. Yeah. Heard maybe there's a bear around. Going to just throw these out in the yard. But then if you say that stuff, they will think you're the biggest jerk oh, on the face yeah. of the earth. Yeah, you're they the They won't jerk. see the funny in it. Like, oh, I guess I did ask a stupid question. And you always have to say, like, are you grilling out? <laughs> Trying to find yes. a lion. Yes, I am grilling out. Have I mean, you ever had him ask you if you were uh, having a party when you weren't? It was just your... <laughs> It was just your normal grocery shopping list. You buy like a meat tray, and you have two or three a dips. cake. <laughs> hey, somebody's nope. birthday? No, I just love eating cake, and you sell it for six dollars, so I buy it every week, and I just eat cake from you. Oh. But you're embarrassed, so you just say yes. <laughs> you don't feel like explaining. What you're is like, that? yeah, I'm having a big one. Can you imagine? If we just went to like Meyer and just bought a cake, <laughs> and we just sit and we eat it, and then like the next day we it would go be back, awesome. We go back and we just write things on it like "Happy Birthday, Sam!" <laughs> make up Happy friends. Birthday! Yeah, we just make up names. Oh, it'd be great. Now that yeah. that'd be the life. We would be a little, a little heavier, but it would be totally worth it. But it would be fun. Oh, Happy Birthday, Peter! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, got another friend with the birthday. Oh, yeah. well, I'm in charge of the cakes at the office. You got a lot of friends. <laughs> yeah, they, they have me by the cakes. So uh, I'm getting I'm another- in charge of cakes <laughs> around the workplace. Getting another one. <laughs> Ashley's on the phone. Hey, Ash. Morning, Ash. Hi. Hi. You're talking about stupid questions? Yeah. My boyfriend went up north this weekend, and I texted him, and I was like, hey, your car is covered. And he texts back, in snow? <laughs> No. And I went, I went, no, in candy. <laughs> I candy coated your car uh, for you. Uh, <laughs> in snow. <laughs> no, in birds. That is hilarious. <laughs> we don't know how to get him to go away. <laughs> Or he's on his way back and he's got a deer strapped to, you know, the roof of his car. Were you hunting? No. 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 Uh-uh. Found this. No. It hit my car and landed there. <laughs> Came with the car, you know. Sometimes they give away TVs. Thanks, Ashley. This time they gave away a big buck. <laughs> any, uh, did you see any deer in your neighborhood? Anybody come home with I one? I saw somebody hit one right outside of it. Oh. Like, that... I pulled in right after they had hit it. Oh. I mean, right after they had hit it. Oh. Uh, it was big, too. Like, was her car all mangled? Um, there were two cars, so I think she hit it, slammed on her brakes, and then the car behind her hit, hit her. A car. Oh, yeah. don't veer for deer. No. You gotta you guys hit the deer. So it smashed it. Hi, Farron. Hey. Um before sending to you guys and hearing about your whole gro- grocery list and yeah. stupid questions. Yeah. Well every every week uh, we go grocery shopping for our, our household, who is nine people, Ooh, wow, That's a lot and, of uh, they, and they are always asking if we're having a party because we have to buy so much food <laughs> because you for are, the week. you're feeding your family. Wait, do you buy a cake every week? No. 
You should. Yeah, you need to start. Put that on the list. Nine people. So you're buying like nine uh, uh, food for nine, and they're like, oh, you got a big uh, big outing? That's like, crazy. No, unfortunately, this is my family. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was having a party. Thanks, Baron. I got these Unfortunately. guys. Unfortunately. They all live with me. Oh. Imagine buying food for nine. You buy food for five. P- food for five. It's got to be expensive enough. Yeah. And then food for two is expensive enough. Right. Ugh. Having a party. I wish we were having a party. We didn't have any money. I have nine people in my family. <laughs> we can't do anything. I'm lucky I found the time to come here. Seriously. Nine-person family. <laughs> You're standing there all dressed up. You're all, <laughs> you're like all warm. You got every pile, you have 50 layers on and right. some skis on your feet. Going skiing? Going- <laughs> no. No, I'm no, not. No, I'm not. Going to the store. I was at Dunham's. They had a big <laughs> sale. Figured, well, what the heck? Speaking of which. <laughs> I'll buy them now. Speaking of which. You asked me to watch Dumber Dumber this weekend. Yes. Um, and I did because it was on Comedy Central, so I recorded it. And it's hilarious. So it, you know what you know what it is. Yeah. It's stupid funny, like Napoleon Dynamite. Yes, very funny. It is stupid funny. <laughs> it doesn't claim to be no. anything other than it is. No, no, <laughs> so dumb. When they're in, when they're in that stupid dog van, <laughs> and uh, Jim Carrey, and they're arguing about um, what's his name, Jeff Daniels. Yeah, they're arguing about him not. Making bets. Yeah. <laughs> I bet I can make it. <laughs> I am so going to win this bet. <laughs> so my girls now. stupid. My girls have all seen it now, too. So eight-year-old Charlotte, her favorite part of it is that the cop drinks the pee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so she's like, she's like, that policeman drank his pee. And I said, yeah. And she, he didn't even notice. I said, well, he kind of goes... And she's like, but he kept drinking it. <laughs> I would know if I was drinking pee. <laughs> the mind of an eight-year-old. So stupid. We got a, We need to, you, me, Damn. the whole family, we need to go see Dumb and Dumber 2. Ugh. In the theater. Just the whole gang of us. Can Dan. I come? Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Dan walked upstairs. He was watching football because I didn't watch the early game because okay. I didn't care. Okay. So he was watching football, and that's when I was finishing it up. And he comes upstairs, and he goes, are you watching Dumb and Dumber? <laughs> It's not a and you I thing. said, yeah, yeah, I am. Curtis tasked me with it this weekend, and, and it was actually on. Yeah. Because our TV that Netflix is on is down in the basement, oh, that's and that's football. where he watches football, so okay. there's no way. So I said, yeah, and it was actually on Comedy Central, so I recorded it, and he goes, okay. Yeah, you're not. He thought it was weird that I would. I said, I've never seen it. Have you seen it? He goes, yeah, it's so stupid, but it's funny. Yeah. Stupid funny. You are not the type to enjoy the movie Dumb no, and Dumber. No, I, I would never just sit in my house and be like, oh. Oh, Dumb and Dumber's on. Let me DVR that. But now it's going to be your favorite movie of all time. (sighs) When they open that briefcase and it's just filled with IOUs. (laughs) (laughs) Or when... Oh, this is so sad. Connie and Curtis (laughs) talking about Dumb and Dumber. (laughs) Go ahead. When the poor... And we started talking about it because we gave away Dumb and Dumber 2 tickets on Friday. But um, in the poor... That poor little kid sitting there playing with that dead bird. That's all. I thought he was really quiet. (laughs) (laughs) You thought he was quiet. (laughs) And then she's like, who are these monsters? (laughs) Dumb and dumber. Uh, 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 What a dumb movie. It's been 20 years, but finally you saw it. Finally I saw it. Way to go. I know. (laughs) I I hope Dumb and Dumber 2, which is spelled T-O, which makes me crack up every time I see the commercial. Hope that's just as funny. Well, so they say, well, it's the number one movie. So that was awesome. Was it the number one? I saw a lot of people saying that Jim Carrey uh, was so dumb and over the top in that first one. Yeah. That, and he's old now. He's like 20 years right. older. So he doesn't quite get there. Right. So And that was disappointing to some people. But yeah, I'm still going. We all need to go. 30 of us piled into a van. 30 of us in a van? Sounds safe. Yeah. It well, sounds super well, safe. Okay, a couple vans. <laughs> dumb and dumber. We'll do a couple vans. Uh, okay. We can make that happen, and we'll just go see. Oh, well, no, I think I'll wait until 2034 (laughs) to go see it. Give it about 20 years. (laughs) Every 20 years, I'll watch a Dumb and Dumber movie. 2034. That's a lot of years. (sighs) That's a long time from now. I mean, 20 years. But 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 that seems so so far far away. away. Jinx! Yes. It's like 8,000 to 1. Curtis! 
Oh my goodness. Oh, I was gonna jinx you, but then you jinxed me. I got you. I got uh, you. I got you. And then you turned. We into, even do that in meetings, by the way. <laughs> you turned it into like a horror movie where you're like. <laughs> I thought you were gonna kill, 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 kill. And now I was teasing you that I was gonna say your name. And he didn't. But then he did. Nick, have you ever been in a meeting where we played the jinx game and like no. management looks at us like, really? <laughs> Is it one where Curtis is getting in trouble and then he can't even defend himself? <laughs> that would be awesome. <clears throat> I didn't. Dang it! <laughs> that <be> jinx. <laughs> I they just do not find there. it funny. I don't no. know how they don't find it funny. They wear like, suits. didn't you play the jinx game when you were a kid? Management. Yeah, come on, management. You know, They're older they, than the jinx game. They probably never did though. They didn't have anybody who wanted to play with. They them. didn't have any friends. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody would play the jinx game. They're just young and jinx at the mirror. <laughs> You're still talking, mirror friend. Wake up. Life, you can struggle and to make things right. That's how a superhero learns to fly.